Hey guys, uh, welcome to a little game called Rack. Uh, this is a game that just got onto Steam Early Access and I've been watching it for quite a while and so I'm pretty excited to show this to you guys. Uh, and to start it off, so we have the main menu here. And it, remember this is like early, kind of alpha beta-ish kind of stuff, so it's going to get a lot of updates, let me tell you. Uh, so you've got basically um, a field of view. Uh, I, I really shouldn't have to show you this, but in, in a lot of games today, Man, I can crank this up to 110. It even goes even higher than that. It goes up to 120, I think. Yeah, and it goes back to 60, in case you're playing on a TV. Uh, so yeah, so it's got that. Uh, it's got a bunch of graphics things. Remember, this is this is an indie title, uh, which basically uh, kind of emulates the old style of of fast-paced shooters like Doom and things like that. And it's like got kind of like a lot of great graphical settings and things like that. It's very well done. Uh, and it's also, yeah, not much else to show you here, just a gamepad and all that kind of crap. So, um, without further ado, let's go get started and see what this is, so... Um, there's only one episode right now, then there's gonna be apparently three down the line. Uh, also you can... choose different maps. It, this is gonna have, like, custom maps and things like that, and I'm guessing there's gonna be some integration with Steamworks as well. Uh, somewhere along the line. But for now, we're gonna be touching upon, uh the game's main uh, campaign, and it's basically got a uh, cakewalk, casual, medium, hardcore, and bullshit. Uh, I, I, not even me, I can't even beat bullshit. I'm, I'm actually total shit at this game, so I'm gonna do uh, hardcore instead. That describes me perfectly. And it's got a cutscene as well. It's kind of neat art, actually. I I, I kind of like this. I should mention I have actually played an earlier version of this game, so the I am not doing this completely blind, but I'm kind of running into this, and uh, uh, I'm going to see all the changes and things like that, and uh, and give you my little impressions and all that kind of stuff. This game's gone through a lot of iterations. Uh, and it looks really good right now. If you if you appreciate any kind of like older style Quake or Doom kind of game, you will like this game. Uh, there's no doubt about that. I should also mention that the guy who created this game is uh, his name is um, Brad Carney. I, I, sorry if I mispronounced that. Um, and if you're not familiar with the name, uh, you'll maybe be familiar with his work, which is uh, he did a Skull Tag engine for Doom. Uh, which was a third-party engine that me, Ken, and Wikidoo actually played uh, Brutal Doom on in co-op. Uh, and that was his, that was one of the previous things he's done. He's also done levels for Dooms and, uh, and things like that, but um... Yeah, so if you've seen us do Brutal Doom, yeah, this is the basically same develop. Uh, obviously he didn't make Doom. I really like the loading screen music. That's something that's new, I, I think I don't... That's, that's neat. And so you can press like escape basically to, to skip this entire dialogue if that's not really your thing, but I'm gonna just uh, let you read it if you want to. So you get, there is a story behind the game, but it by no means forces you to, to read all of it. I'm just saying that right now. If you like uh, kind of old style games, um, so, uh, this sword in particular, it's like a cyber sword or something, you can, you can immediately tell there's like a, kind of a cell shading, uh, sorry, cell shaded kind of graphic style, sort of like, uh, one of those Zelda games or something like that. Um, which is neat, like, I, I don't actually see this too often, this kind of art style, so it's kind of neat to see it in this kind of game. So, and the, the other thing you'll probably immediately notice is how fast paced the game is, which is a very welcome, uh, you know, uh, you you don't get enough fast-paced games at all these days, and that's what I'm really happy about with this game. Uh, I've always maintained though that you know, despite the fact there's a whole bunch of you know very slow-paced games and like that, um, 
the, the, the guys who grew up on Doom are growing up, and they're becoming computer programmers and all that. And someone would eventually, you know, take the challenge of uh, making a kind of fast-paced Doom-style shooter. And I'm happy to say this is the one. This is the one you've all been waiting for. Uh, it's really, really cool. So you basically got, got your pistol here for just, uh, you know, ranging things if you really need to. As you can tell, I'm really not that great at this game. The, spi the, the, the sword is kind of good for dealing with the spiders, and I'm out of ammo. Alright, let me go. I'm gonna go boss this guy. Oh, and I jumped way too far. Not a complaint. I get much in games, but I can just pick up more ammo, so that's okay. Now, one of the previous iterations of this game, this, this, this actually had floating platforms, which I actually uh, wasn't too fond of, but he, he's actually changed it now to uh, a platform in the middle you kind of uh, can jump onto, which I'm absolutely horrible at, apparently. Uh, which which really changes the pacing of the game. Since it is supposed to be a fast-paced game, it's really nice he did that kind of a change. And also his uh, chaining kills, which I was going to talk about a little bit later, but uh, I guess you see it now. Uh, so, very, very, very good changes. I am very impressed. And this is a secret. Obviously, what kind of old, older game would it be without your share of secrets? And, uh, I get ahead. It's an extra life. So, it is kind of an arcade-style, uh, shooter. If you want it to be, I can quick save all I want. See, there you go, game saved. I can load it up, and I, I keep my lives. Um, it's really about how you want to play it. Uh, if you choose not to save, um then you basically get to uh, play it in like the traditional uh, FPS style, basically. If you die, then you can just go back to your, your quick save and, and then you're, you know, you're not... There's checkpoints and all that as well, if you do die. Uh, and it's based on lives as well, so you can use the, the game's uh, system for, for, you know, checkpoints and things like that, or you can just use your own quick saves, it's okay. But if you don't, if you never quick save, it's actually not a big problem. Hey. So, uh, clearly a boss. Now, these kind of boss fights, I think, is basically inspired by things like Mega Man, because you can kind of tell, uh, th there's like, there's like patterns to his attacks and all that, so that was, uh, the first iteration of this boss. Later. I, I have a feeling we'll be seeing him again. So it's it's basically got a bit of everything. Uh, you can kind of tell like the the developer has kind of drawn a lot of uh, uh, inspiration from games. I guess he played as a child as well. Um, and here we have lava, salt shaded lava, nonetheless. So we can save it here just in case I fuck it up. There you go. Which I didn't. So that's all good. So you know, I may I may personally not get all the references to everything, uh, but you know, actually I shouldn't really long range with the shotgun. Yeah, I wasn't lying when I said I wasn't the best at this. There you go, and we got some miniature health health. Uh, although I'm already at max uh, health, so it's okay. Maybe I should have done it on bullshit difficulty. So now we have uh, the floaty orb of goodness, and uh, it's. Doom Sphere, sorry. So it's basically like a, a damage upgrade. Not sure if I'm invincible right now, but it's uh, kind of reminds me of the Berserk pack. I'm missing this guy horribly. There we go. And to basically chain the attacks together, you kind of have to hold down. Uh, you gotta keep shooting, basically. You gotta hold down the your shooter button, and then uh, you you chain all the attacks. And it's it's that's more based upon the score kind of stuff. So if you're the kind of person who loves to get high scores and stuff, and you know, I'm sure this game will have some sort of maybe it already does have some leaderboard integration. Uh, who knows? Uh, if you kind of like that kind of stuff, but uh, they got that here for it's something for everybody, you know. I'm just gonna range these guys because uh, I've had a lot of bad experiences with this area. I, I have no interest in uh, in playing their game of long range. Oh, no, uh, that's exactly what I'm doing, but whatever. Yeah, there's like lava here and everything. I, you know, imagine just like, because it's a game where, it's, it, you know, it's kind of like follows the same kind of doom mentality of, uh, 
your greatest defense is your speed, and it's uh, you, you're trying to evade basically projectile attacks and all that. So, you know, older style Doom game, as you probably expect. And here we have our final boss. The purple ones, as far as I can see, they home into you, and I, I have no idea how to dodge them. Some of these uh, you can't just crouch under. Some of them I, I haven't quite got the hang of. Yeah, I hate the purple ones, they're the worst. You have the main, uh, the main bad guy. I like that little, like the little cyberpunk helmet he's got going. No, I like the name Kane. He sounds like a, a villain from, uh, like a. Uh, Bruce Willis movie, like Die Hard or something. The perfect kind of badass to be the main character in this. <laughs> Has a sense of humor too. My question is, if they're robot aliens, are they really aliens? Could be just robots. And so here you have your uh, score screen, so I missed a secret somewhere. Um, which I'm bound to do, I, mean, I was never very good at finding all the secrets in games. Also, I'm below par. Good job, man. But there you go. Uh, my rank is silver. I'm pathetic. Ah, uh, yeah, so here we have... Uh, it's a it's a beta, so this this artwork is uh, forthcoming. So, you know, mind uh, mind the mess, I suppose. But this this didn't actually have these uh, these cutscenes before in the one of the earlier iterations I played of this. So, it does give you the option to skip it, as I said. So, if you're just looking to get like a just a old school experience, then you know, it's up to you. I mean, there's got to be a reason you connect all these levels together, right? So that first level you played there was more of a, uh, an introduction level. It was just kind of just, just teaching you the game. This is where actually the game really picks up, uh, in my opinion. Uh, so we're in the disposal area. So by now you you have basically the the, the primary weapons of the game uh, that you're mainly going to be using throughout the game. So you have basically a sniping weapon, you have your close range weapon, and then you have your melee weapon. Uh, if you want to conserve ammunition, so uh, they've they've just taught you how to use that, and now we're in uh, disposal. And I'm just gonna let them. There you go. But, you know the intro, the intro uh, cutscene. The, uh, sorry, the 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 loading screen did teach me that I should, uh, you know. Let them go into my crosshair kind of a thing. I, yeah, I don't even know what these things are. They look like... Garrus from Mass Effect. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. 
projectile dodging. Might as well just go snipe these guys. The pistol isn't that bad, actually. It's, it's gotten better. Better than I remember it. Or maybe, maybe, maybe I'm just imagining things. And these guys are a little bit stronger. They're a bit more armored. Close to these ones just died in like one hit from a pistol. Is that a... That's the thing I can get. Oh, there we go. All the gold. You, got, you have to have those stereotypical rewards in games, you know? It's just like... It's like, you have to. You, you just can't go without that. It's like, why is there gold in this game? Why not? You know, you could say that uh, Kane's a leprechaun. He kind of, you know, he's got like the red hair and everything. I think that's what I think that's what it's what it's about. Oh, that was awesome! <laughs> like even then, like the oh wow! Like the the it just sometimes the weapons feel really good. All right, we'll press this button and then I heard okay, I thought something spawned. Oh, wait, no, I, was, I didn't lie. Ah, no, they're behind me too. There you go, and more leprechaun gold. Now I, ooh, can I make it to that? I'm, I'm, I'm gonna screw this up so royally. All right, can I go in, oh, I can go in here. All right, no. Nope. Oh, wow, I did it. Oh, wow, I have to parkour now. <laughs> that's, that's good stuff. I, I like that. Good job on that. I actually didn't know about that one. I knew about the first, uh, one, because I did a, uh, I did a run of, uh, the game quickly before I actually uh, played it before, even though I've played the uh, the alphas and things like that. But you know, for me, it's still a discovery thing. It's it's, it's kind of cool. Oh. So I, as I said once again, I'm going to mention like the, it. It seems to me like uh, uh, that the the developers going to go in a direction of custom content for the game, where people can make their own levels and things like that. So as I said, expect expect this not to be the limit like what I'm playing right now. Expect this not to be the limit of the game, but like just like what it has to offer right now and potentially what it can offer uh, I guess in the future by opening up the oh cool I can just kind of hop up here I wonder can I can I can I guess can I jump over that do I dare yeah no I, I'm not that I'm not that ballsy to try and jump over there's no nothing over there anyways probably an achievement or something you know we love metagaming don't we All right, let's go melee these guys. <laughs> like it, and I like the fact. I think one of my favorite parts is uh, one of my biggest problems with games is when um, the difficulty basically scales on health, not upon you know things like enemy count. I'm not sure how the dif I have only played it on this difficulty. Uh, however, obviously it doesn't take like more than one hit to. It, do it basically doesn't feel like I'm I'm taking a really long time to kill people. Yeah, maybe I should just stop pussing out in the, the, the hall here and kind of come out in the open. I'm, play I'm playing it too much like a corridor shooter right now. Uh, nobody ever said I was flawless. Besides myself. Alright. And so I'm getting combos right now. That's it for that. So it's a it's a six chain kill. Oh, there is gold in there. Can I jump to it right here? Oh, fuck me. <laughs> so you can revive, uh, and it brings me back to the beginning of the level, or I could just load it up because I did save it before I did that. So as I said, it really depends upon your preference of. Uh, for me, I'm I'm fine with quick saving, but if you want to try and you know play through the game using the the live system. It does have it does have checkpoints, by the way. It really does. I'm not lying to you. Oh, f that was just unlucky. It does have a checkpoint system, so uh, I just hadn't progressed far enough into the game to trigger that. Uh, but yeah, you you can do it. it. Like it's not that much of a problem. I'm gonna kill those guys before I get uh, my pot of gold. I can't believe he killed me. It annoys me. Alright. Uh, oh my god, I'm terrible! Uh, 
No, I just really want to show you guys the loading screen music. It's just so amazing. Also, it's rocky. You just can't you can't get sad when you're loading. Oh whoa, okay. I almost went too far there. All right. Wow. That's that's hard, man. That's a hard jump. Can I make it to that? All right. Oh, I dare I dare to dream. Nope. I should mention this is not a requirement to this. I just like to collect the gold. Okay. There's a whole reason why the the difficult to navigate platforms only have useless crappy gold on it for the points. It's basically to, so for people like me who like to collect everything can be uh, can fail at it multiple times. Imagine now if I was not using quick saves, I'd probably be screwed and not have any lives left. As it stands, I have five. Hello. There we go. Oh, I can just keep chaining them up. Nice. And I'm surprised that that's actually allowing me to chain it. Oh, he's... Okay, he keeps uh, knocking me back because I'm not timing that very well. The bullet weapon is actually, it's a whole lot of fun, I have to, I do have to say. I think he attacked his friend there. I wonder if there's infighting between these uh, mobs. That'd be kind of interesting. I'm gonna go the other way just in case I miss, yeah, see, I'm missing guys. I'm, 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 I'm just gonna get hit by literally everything. Okay, so this has um, a health pack down there. Oh, hello. Can lay the plot to death. Now these ones are actually highly malleable, you know. Uh, and oil came out of his crotch, and that was a purple one. I think he's the one who he fires like homing things. I killed him too quickly for you to actually see, but he fires homing projectiles, kind of like the ones you saw in the previous episode by the boss. And we also get some pulse cells out of that. And so there's one layer of the. Uh, uh, and you know those gates? Don't they remind you of Doom? Uh, okay, I, I know I'm doing it again. I'm, I'm comparing it to Doom, but you know. <laughs> it, there's inspiration there. There's a lot of inspiration and, and you know, you're you're an idiot if you don't see it. So like, you know, the, there's like, there used to be bars and levels with different keys, but this one does it by, by, um, uh, well, you, you, do, you do it by pressing buttons, not necessarily, uh, Anything else? I'm on the lookout for uh, for not just pots of gold, but uh, for our secrets, which I'm not very good at finding. Uh, that doesn't look good. You know, big ominous rooms are never really a good sign. Alright. Oh, another shotgun. We can come on over. And he's stuck. That's just one bot, though. Uh oh. oh that's a problem. Oh, I'm, I'm an excellent multitasker, don't worry. I'll just do one at a time. Even though, really, I should just concentrate on one. Let's just do it the fun way. Now some more armor, might as well get that. I really like that, that, this kill training system. It's really, it's actually quite well done. I mean, it's, it's subtle, but it's there, in case you really want to do it. Maybe a, a little bit of a work in progress. I, I did tell you. Okay. okay, let's get the sword out. Now, I think the real impressive part, you have to remember though, is it's just, it's literally, you know, it's a really small team, but it's mostly one guy who coded this whole engine. 
And it really, it really fits that niche that, you know, you, that I've always wanted to see. Alright, you know, I, I should save it because I'm doing platforming. And we've learned from the previous episode that, or not previous episode, but this episode, that I'm not too good at that. Uh, how do I get to that one? I guess I have to go up under this one. So that, that has some bullets. And max health plus five. Oh, nice. So there's some collectibles throughout the game, and there's also another thing right there that I want to get. Some shells. All right. I think I got everything. Yep. Now, I could swear there was a secret around here. Up there? No. It's one of these kinds of doors. I remember it from one of the previous uh, durations of the game, I think. Okay. Oh, I think this is the one. Yeah, that's it. Oh, there we go. Oh, no. Don't, don't, don't kill my barrel. I, I'm, I'm using that. This one was I thought was really clever. Oh, that's, yeah, here we go. Yeah. And I can't pick it up. Sad. Maybe I didn't crank the difficulty too high. All right, we can't do anything there, so. Can we go into here, like just jump into it? I wonder. Oh, I can. I feel kind of bad for now skipping that. You put all this hard work into that other other way which I probably didn't really skip much okay the legion of spiders that's everybody all right well, let's get my my pot of gold all right well let us look down this this corridor again and it just pretty much goes to the same place so I'm gonna loop around this like three more times just so you just to so you get the feel, full experience of this corridor now Yeah, I can kill the big ones with one hit. Nice. Oops. You know, I, I, I have to say, out of all the weapons so far, that's my favorite. Um, I know what the other two weapons are, but, you know, I'll, I'll, I won't tell you what they are. You know, just, just in case you've probably never seen it, so... I'll leave you guessing on what they could possibly be. Eh. Oh, I can't really go into there. What I actually want to see, though, is someone do some speed runs of this. Because that will be really impressive to see how people can, can get through a game like this. Because any kind of fast paced game. People find all kinds of tricks all the time to skip parts of the levels and things like that. So people who are really intimate with the knowledge of the game, uh, doing speedruns, I love to watch that kind of stuff. It's always so interesting. And and I, I'm just giving it a matter of time before some people do some attempts with this. Oh. Oh boy. Now, I can kill these guys. I guess I could just kill them while they're just walking into there. But there's also, there's a secret right there, look at that. It's a uh, score plus 10,000%. Uh, right, I gotta just activate the lift back. There you go. Uh, I guess that doesn't kill you because there's a platform to get back up. I, I thought it would kill you. Lava is the one that kills you. Oh boy. Yeah, so here's the purple homing ones. So yeah, that's all you have to do is you have to basically dodge it by having it turn into a wall, I guess. That's my assumption. Alright. Yeah, let's open up this one. And there goes the last uh, set of bars. Section 202 complete. And I don't need the health, so let's just hop back in. And uh, we will continue on our merry way next uh, next, ep next episode, so see you later. Bye.